Finally, it is out, and it's on the PC. I am super happy. Hey, what's up guys, Trex here, and welcome to Firewatch, the relatively simple purpose of a game where you just watch for fires that is oh so much more. This game I've been looking forward to for months, and I finally have the chance to sit down and play it, and I am so excited. First things first, this game has an extremely wonderful settings menu. You've got all your general settings and a very, very nice UI, and then all the graphic settings you can imagine in a, just a fantastic layout. It is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Then you have all your controls, every single thing is rebind rewindable, and that's pretty much the settings menu. It is fantastic. So let's start a new game. Save game. Just played for a couple minutes to test out the graphics and stuff. It hits a solid 60 no matter what it is. Beautifully made and it's absolutely gorgeous. Campo Santo presents. In cooperation with Panic Inc. That's a strange name for the game. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. So, Panic Games presents Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I'm looking forward to it. You see, Julia. Ooh, forgot the music. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with a well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You're drunk. Yeah! <coughs> You're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone wants to buy you a cheeseburger, she says. Back down later, one week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. So yeah, this game's kind of got some comedy mixed into it. But just wait till you see the world. It is stunning. Alright. And in the parking garage, got ourselves a nice dumpster and stuff. Maybe there's a secret hidden in here. Uh, there's a glowing box, which is sort of leaving some radiation behind. All right, let's see what we've got up here. It appears to be closed, possibly. Well, then that's uh, a that's my that's my phone. That's not part of the game. Don't know what that was for. Yep, it's closed. Oh my gosh. Look at the god rays. <whistles> this game is stunning. <sighs> Alright, come over here, load our gear into the truck bed, and I believe it's time we take off. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. Share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julie wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julie is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's a bad A. Let's get the shepherd and name him Mayhem, that's a sweet name. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too, rigged, too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart. We're good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots, that would be pretty good. In case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for their best that their parents aren't pitched. You say she's absolutely right. And we're here in the world. Holy snap. It's so pretty. This game is one of the prettiest games I've ever played, honestly. 
Alright, this is the farthest I've gotten. I've just seen how good this looks and nothing more. So I'm ready to begin my firewatch journey. You're in their country. Learn to live with immigrants. I mean bears. Oh, it's fading. We are being abducted into an alien spaceship. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julie is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it is great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. He-Man, definitely He-Man. I look awesome. Oh, oh, it's sunset. Oh, we can see our legs when we look down. Ah, ah, ah. It's like space engineers in this game are the only games where you see your legs when you look. Wow. This is stunning. Bear attack! No, okay. This isn't the revenant, but man, this is stunning. Holy snap, this looks beautiful bathed in this orange light. Oh man. I haven't gotten to this one. I've just seen the uh other one. Eight more miles, two forest lookout tower. Oh right. And height eight tower. Eight more miles. Oh man. Dang it. During the summers you and you and Julio enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town, it brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mow you with a knife. Well that escalated very quickly. Mayhem runs away. May, me, moo, F, da, da, dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his gosh darn face in. Your army gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia has to take a different path from that day forward. You see it okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. George Orwell. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Man, I'm getting attached to these characters. I, they've just been on tech so far. You tell her that this means you, won't, you two won't have a family. She says that's BS. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, BS. But she decides not to take it. 1985. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's talk to someone about it. It's probably best not to model that up. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, you're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is for man. Man, this game's supposed to be gorgeous and fun, and now I'm getting sad. I was not expecting this. What have you done, Panic Room, or whatever the developer's name was? Come on! We both decided to keep it a secret for now. Journal. Let's pick up the journal. Hopefully we won't get mauled by a bear. Oh, well then. All right. He man. Ah. Bam is getting older. He's got silver hair. Oh. He's got silver hair down his back. It slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends. And it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Oh 
man, I'm getting sad now. Julie's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Can I just play the game? I just want to play the game. But there's this beautiful narrative. I'm, I'm getting sad. I just wanted to look at the pretty sunset, but no. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. Ow! After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. We tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, her friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her to a full-time care facility, or you're determined to care for by yourself. Full-time care, definitely. Oh, man. Every single time this game just gets more gorgeous. It is stunning. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. It's so colorful. The colors in this game are just amazing. Wow. Look at the fog sitting in the low section of the valley. It is stunning. This is... Oh, man. This is an experience. This is something you have to experience for yourself. Look at that. Oh, hello there. My name is Colonel Reginald Jerbrink. Hello? Take me to your leader. Your family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then, every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut her balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Ow! Months go by. May oh, come on! Come on! This game is just depressing me. I wanted to have fun, to ride around, and look at the beautiful sunsets, and get mad at the skin dipping teens like they said in the trailer or the 15 minutes of gameplay that came out a few months ago. But no! No! My girlfriend has dementia, my dog's dead, our pet's heads are falling off. Come on, Panic Room Games. This is so sad, but it's so gorgeous. Sometimes, or oh, Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Oh, that just makes it even worse, come on. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less, it makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Man, I'm getting out of breath just from reading all this. Oh, you take it. Oh, are we finally getting to play the game? I think we're finally getting to play the game. Oh, man. We're finally at the workout, or the lookout tower. Oh. There's a red light. Man, I hope I don't get mauled by a bear or something. I don't want this game to be full of jump scares. That would be fun. What's this red flashing light up here? Alright. Approaching the door. Um. Not sure what the red flashing light is. I am a bit worried. Ha! Ah! I see anything? I don't think anybody's in there. Turn on the power. Oh! Okay. I thought it was like an alarm or something. Okay, I got scared for a minute. Hello, 2 Tower. Ooh, Delilah. A voice. H hello. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hello. Uh. Ooh. I like this, um. Um, hello? I like that radio hello, is. interface. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Creepy. Well, my dog died and my wife is Look, in an assisted living facility. Days, so I, I just want to hang myself. Whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Your can husband I, left you. Can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. All right. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom, and nobody back home can stand you. Uh, definitely killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. <gasps> I can choose which okay, shelf to put it on. Oh! Yeah. I don't know oh, that's you. cool. But maybe... Oh, well... You just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A, a tree, tree fetish? fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Ah! Firewatch. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Oh, anyway, man, uh, there's still it's a so few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. How can how can she see me at my desk? Wait, is there another lookout tower somewhere in the horizon? Let's see, oh, yep, there it is. How can she see me from there? No, I, I can see your lookout. Huh? I can see your tower from over here. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen. Fourteen hours, hours of sleep. Yeah, Jesus. Oh. Six. Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? A map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is what? it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! This game's a... Uh, yeah. Out your west a lot more window. explicit Are you seeing what than I seeing? thought. Uh, in. Are those fucking fireworks? Okay, west-facing window is this way. Alright. Oh! Oh, wow, yeah, those are fireworks. I need you to confirm, do you see them? Whoa, that's I do not see legal, them. right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right, gonna go and beat the. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Henry. Of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Dang it. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Alright, supply box. Secure. Shut up. I love the dialogue between these two characters. This is fantastic. Wait, do I have two copies of Glory? There's one copy. Oh, wait, no, this is... Is that the same copy? There's that one copy. And then there was another one. Where was the other copy? Or did I get more books? I must have brought more books. Okay, yeah. Okay, supplies. Here we go. Oh, wait. No, wait. Where's the Where's the rope of the supply box? Or what was it supposed to do? Hello, supply box. Oh, it's so pretty. 
But I still need to get my, uh, my rope. Alright, I guess the rope is somewhere else, so let's just leave the Firewatch, or the Fire Lookout Tower, and go figure out those fireworks. Ooh, parkour! Ooh, got ourselves the map. Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Alright, so where is that? Alright, cache 306 is along the trail to the north. Alright, so let's go find ourselves a cash box. Well, we're heading the wrong way, so I'm an idiot. I just hear the fireworks constantly booming. It's a bit disconcerting. Oh, I'm not the red square, I'm the circle. That makes sense. Okay, I got it. Huh, just a little outhouse. Not sure what the generator's for. Oh well. Ah, uh, look at those mountains. I wonder if that's a uh, skybox or something. I am just totally out of whack right now. I I need to get on the right trail. I am just on the wrong path. This is uh this is not going too well. Okay, okay. I think yes. Okay. It started saving, so I believe we are on the right trail. Yes, we are. We're going to get to the cash box. Man, they have so many fireworks. I'm just hearing them constantly going off. That is impressive, the amount of fireworks that they're able to get in here. Oh, what is this? Is this anything? Oh, block trailer. Trail. Okay, um, sign here. Two floors for Jonesy Lake. 800 feet, 0.5 miles. Oh, there's the cash box. Sweet. Okay. So we got this. So let's get in here. And let's, uh, close it. One. Nope. I can't use the numpad. Two. Three. Four. I really like this, uh, padlock setting. That's, uh, that's cool. Yep, just, just ignore it. Totally update my map. I ignore it. Alright, got ourselves the rope. And we have ourselves a nice granola bar. So let's take that as well. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to eat it. I wanted to hold it. Oh, dang it. All right, continuing to the fireworks. Got ourselves an updated map. And where are the fireworks? Are they in Chonesy Lake? I'm not sure. Oh, finally we can run. Oh man, this is a relief. We can get there in no time. Oh, this valley is so pretty. Look at it. Look at it and behold its beauty. Oh, there we go. Found the fireworks again. So, let's, uh, let's get down here real quick. And we'll be able to get to the fireworks. And now this is what I've seen before in the 15 minutes of gameplay that came out. Was it early last year? I can't remember. No, no, no. Oh, oh gosh. Ah! Are, are we dead? I think we're dead. And I think this is where I leave you. So anyways, that was Firewatch. You'll have to find out the rest for yourself. This game is fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I'm going to keep playing this till the end of the day. Goodbye.